hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're gonna film a quick video here for you. We are at the house working on the chicken castle. I just named it that. We have the silky, the silky chalet and the chicken castle. So what we are working on is predator proofing 101. Okay, so we have cleaned all this out and we have the coop here. And so what I wanted to do in order for us to get here as soon as possible, I'm trying to work on both coops and fortify them at least on the basics before we get moved in and bring the girls and guys over, okay? There's still things to add and do and paint and all this sort of stuff, but it may take me a couple months or a year or 20, I don't know. So that's just the way it's rolling right now. So obviously this is open. You don't want that. That's like a big no-no, okay? There's no sense in having any type of fencing if they can just come from the front of the coop, hang out underneath, and come right on in. And I'm gonna tell you what, folks, I'm pretty doggone tired of eating raccoon and possum this year. <laughs> so here is how we are making the most of what we already have, okay? Other than buying some new screws, we're not using any new materials because what we're doing right now is we are literally using fencing that we have already from the, even the old house, rolls of it, and we have cut it to the measurement that we need on each length of the wall, and we've put a big section lying down. So beyond the wall now, right over on the other side, you can see where that side's still open, Part of this, or actually a little bit more, is laying flat, okay? So if something comes in underneath there by chance and wants to dig and try to get over here in the coop area, it's going to have a difficult time, number one, digging through on that side. And then, guess what? It's got to come up underneath this. So what we did is we laid the fencing down first, okay? Fencing down first, and then we've come back and we've put in the press wood, which we already had as well. So there's there's really no investment here other than, like I said, buying a bag of screws. So we're gonna continue to do this. Now, what I'm gonna continue to do in certain areas, let me show you how else I'm gonna continue to fortify to give you more ideas. Okay, so clearly you can see on the outside right here, this is where you really don't want them to start coming in, is on the outside, okay? So here we are even coming around back. We've set our wood up. We've already been measuring and getting them, see how they're measured up right here? So what I'm going to do is put the wire down, the fencing down, just like you saw. Gonna come in and then put this up. And then what I'm gonna do is use cement blocks and you can make it decorative. Now, I don't know if I'll make it decorative on the back, but if you were to have to do this, I'm gonna move it with you. And you come and you set that just like so all the way down, say on the side. You know what I'm talking about? Like right here where people will see your cutie tootie chicken castle. Make those planters. So you're going to have the wiring. You're going to have the wood down. You're going to have the wiring underneath so they can... Who's going to dig through that? <laughs> and... Then you could have these really cutie tooty cement blocks, just like so. You can get them anywhere. Lowe's, Home Depot. You can put flowers in there. Now, see, my chickens aren't on the outside. So you could put herbs. You could put decorative flowers. You could put faux flowers. Whatever you want, girl, it's your chicken world. So like I said, we're going to continue to do this. We may only do the, the hot spots first literally that are leading to the coop, which is coming all the way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at all those wild violets. All the way down through here, okay? Inside and out. And then there's other areas that once we finalize and get here and get this main area done, see, then we can come back and finish it. The goal is to get it as safe as possible, as quick as possible, so we can get the girls floating through their new run. Okay, so you've cut all the way down to here. So we've measured 
we've got the fencing laid out flat and we've measured the length that we need and then we're going straight across to get that length for each section underneath the building and this is a look for all homesteaders right now hey it is 80 degrees we are ready for summer all right eddie Do, do what? Good job. Perfect. You were saying I didn't cut hard enough through. Don't lie to these people. Don't, don't lie to these people. <laughs> okay. I'm going first. Oh, me first? Am I gonna, I flip, I gotta flip it over. Okay, yes. let me stop filming. Okay, we'll put it in there. There's something underneath there. Okay, line it up over. A little bit more. That's, in, in. Oh, in a little bit more? Okay, see how the other one is above you? Yeah, okay. okay. All right, and then we'll flatten it. Okay, yes. so then we'll just put the boards up right over it. And then, like I said, we can come back with some cement blocks too, just to make make sure it's all in there. You're doing good, honey. You're the man. That's why I married you. <laughs> So as you may have seen, you're gonna see there's no wiring right here. And the reason being is because literally on the other side is cement block. So that's why there's nothing specifically right here. So now he's just going to, I'm gonna hold it in place. He's gonna put a screw on each end and then finish through the middle. Okay, I need you to put your foot on that board and press down so that we're putting pressure downward onto that fencing. Okay. And then when I screw it in, it helps keep it that way. Is that Press enough? It. Yeah, move back some and do it some more. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad I ate some chocolate chip cookies today. Woo! Put a little, put a little weight on it. Okay. One more? Just one more? One more time. Okay. Okay, so you can see right here, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trees, but look what's coming over into my coop. So I would not have that because if you don't have proper netting, and even if you do, guess what's gonna be going up the tree, coming down the limb and trying to tear your netting that you're gonna put it, be putting right over the top, which is what we're gonna be doing very, very soon. All right, so this is how we are fortifying parts of our chicken coop right now in the run area to keep them safe or safer from predators. And we're using all materials that basically we already have. There's no waste, and that's a good thing. So this is what we're doing. We'll be working on this and the next coop. We'll keep you posted. We appreciate you watching us here at Appalachia's Homestead. Think about what you need. Look around and see what you have. Even maybe your dad or your brother or your neighbor they might have some materials that they just got stuck up in the barn somewhere that they're not using. Take them some eggs. Maybe they can help you out. We'll see you on the next video. Let's get to work. You ready to go hunt around? Come on, sister. Come on, sister. Woo! Show woo! <laughs> you sweetheart.